Welcome back to Eater Race. This is week 185, day two. And we're just going to do our battle first because, you know, as usual, um, we're getting close to the reset time. So, um, yeah, let's see what we get. All right. Um, interesting. Who are you, Wolf? Yeah, Wolf. Uh, any Wings of Mercy? There's Obstruct, okay. There's Save? No, you're not a safe skill. Interesting, I'm thinking Marf again. When in doubt, go with Marf. Mm, Edelgar will turn to be annoying, as she tends to be. Especially because I will have to like park myself here, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with this team again. Edelgar will Edelgar as she usually does. So. Um, how do we go about this, though? All right, something like this, probably. If I break this, then I can just teleport there. Mm, what about like this? I can break this. Go over here. Marth will be able to teleport here and I can dance him. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, you will only be able to move one space. And then one more space. So you only move to here. Actually, can I get even Marf over there? Then like this. Okay. The glimmer of Break life. this. Really? Break this. Swap Marv in. Right. Take out Medeos. Take out Medeos. Do I want to take out Medeos? She'll go here. And then she can go one, two, and attack Ash. But she doesn't have... Um, skill of name. Uh, Ah, skill, name, bonfire. She doesn't have bonfire. Together. So it should be fine? Question mark, exclamation point. Uh. I do get my fire emblem on the first hit, so... Yeah, I do get Shine Fire Milton. Emblem, or Shining Emblem. And we're able to one round KO that Elgar. That's perfect. Slightly better than what we expected. Yes. Um can't decide. Lord Asker guide us. What's my move? Well he's not getting the bonus doubler because of the minus six to 
from somewhere. Uh, menace? Her menace, I guess? Let's see now. I mean, he has the plus six, so... He has his own bonus doubler, but he's not getting the other one because Ash steals it because he's taking the minus six deep off. Um... Let's do it. Yes. Wanna break this, but Wolf can reach one, two, three. Yeah, he ha most four spaces, so one, two, three, right. four. So, um, not break anything. I guess we could just tank move? with four Zane to attack. Together. This is only turn two, right? Yeah, I do need to watch out What's for this. Move? No point in taking unnecessary damage. Good morning. We'll do the debuff. Can't decide. Lord Asker, guide us. Ready. Truly. Good morning. Let's do it. And take our sauces. I mean, he is getting all of those buffs, which is cool, I guess, but... To the end. Yeah, Wolf is just not fast enough. We fight together. Run away, little girl. Run away. Not. Lord Asker, guide us. I do not object. My turn. Death's caress. <sighs> to the end. And that's it. We pretty much won. What's my move? Let's do it. Together. Alright, we did get both either pots, right? End. I don't even remember when we did, but I don't see him on the screen, so. Alright. Another easy day. All right, now we can take a look at the two defense replays that we got. So for once, we got the reverse classic. So success before the failure and the success content. So yay for us. Alright, so we have a plus two Ash, um, Tag Defense Bone, Smite, Ascended Leggy Arm, uh, plus one, plus five, we close defense, close defense, that is such a weird thing to go on her, um, Reposition and Deadeye, Rhea, Word in Breath, Reposition, uh, Near Save, no, I mean Far Save, Fallen Edelgard with Gale Force, 
and death respawn again if, why would you go with gale force on a safe skill uh we have the goat uh reposition attack speed solo and finally bright of yarn plus one hp attack and hp speed this is the forma which what did they get at the forma i guess that speed rest rain and that's no she comes with dazzling so rescue yeah, I guess this is what they got out of it. The speed restraint and the rescue. Uh, yeah. So here... They're getting set up. And here, my guess is that Legion doesn't get this skill on Robin, and that's why they didn't attack. Because if they were going with a far save uh, unit, then really doesn't really matter if Legion takes damage on this. But I'm gonna assume that she couldn't kill Robin, and that's why she didn't attack. Over here, of course. Uh, Elgar cannot counter because of wind sweep. And then everybody moves a little forward. Gives themselves a near and far safe, so Meadows just ignores and just goes straight for Rhea. It's like I'm gonna have to fight her anyway, might as well just go for the bat, from the bat to fight her. And then Idun. And Iceberg does have a lot of damage, like was that 46 damage or 44 damage rather well also the true damage that she does so it's not only the iceberg damage but but yeah see she only does 26 damage here but with the dead eye which she would have gotten regardless to protect my friend. But I think the problem is like right here, she wasn't, um, Robin wasn't getting her speed defense bond. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was the bond skill here and maybe, I don't know, some kind of rally. For some reason, they didn't attack and I'm not sure why. Because there really was no need for not attacking. Yep, I should able to get this kill, just barely. Here, just Sarah doing Sarah things. See, right here they're running into a, into a problem of... They really can't go too far in, like because Lilina is like back there and in order for them to send a unit to take out the pots right now they need to be able to be in far rave in far safe range here salt is actually able to match leg yarn speed so yeah like they know they're pretty much kind of stuck over there. They have to be careful about how they proceed, otherwise Lilina will get a free hit on them. I shall cut through. And normally Sotis never is able to get her special against an Edelgar. But because Leg Yarn did attack first, it does help us out right here. And 
And yeah, that was turn seven. So they were playing way too cautious, um, mostly because of Lilina. For this one, we have a plus one Ash with attack defense form. Guinevere, reposition, attack, respawn. Peony, attack and speed tactics. Young Merrick, um, reposition. I think he comes with a wind sweep. Mela, plus 10, uh, fortress death, smite and ether. And finally, Temari. Air, which I still don't recommend, but I guess whatever. Uh, Death Rest 2, Fortress Rest. I mean, just go with the Phantom Rest, I mean, it gives you more rest where you need it. Here, of course, Guinevere has armor effect, not armor effectiveness, um, damage effectiveness against stones, so she's able to take out Robin fairly easy. And once Robin is gone, you're free to shoot Lilina. Not only that, but if you had the fence, you would have been safely within fence right there. And yeah, this is something you notice, like a lot of people do, they'll hit, but then they have to fall back, no matter what. And that's, that's what I like, like about this setup. It just forces you to always have to back up, uh, back away. From Lord Oscar. Here, of course, uh, she has more units within three spaces, so she's able to prevent a follow-up and gains her own follow-up. Eleven damage, so he does exact damage. And yeah, still have to back away. But here they kind of split up, so Sarah is kind of in a bad position. Because she is out of save range, near save. I mean, now that they went with it, but she's still outside of near save range. And yep, once again, Ash is able to leverage her weapon. With a pre-charge iceberg, yeah, iceberg. Forgive me. Yeah, I think we could have done some damage if we had, if she didn't have her pre-charge iceberg. And here, unfortunately, Lisa doesn't move very fast. So, plus they have plenty of magic base units. So. Yep. Turn seven. So that's like the only thing about this team. It's a stall team. So it's basically yeah, it's basically a stall team. So if you're not ready, you will lose your turns. Forgive me. Cause yeah, without Mila this would literally be turn seven, so I mean they would have still made it in time, but it would have still taken him a while. 
And yeah, next day already. We'll take a quick look at you guys. And then I think there's a banner to someone on. We'll double check on that. Uh, Jackie Omi has taken first place with a buy left. We have Eva, Gav, CMA, Kako, Kenny, Oron, Matt, Dark Luster, Diego, Neo Swordsman, Promise, Bray Blitz, Dogs, Kitsune, Logan, Lemres, Silver, Bean, Amethyst, And yeah, um, so let's see. I think there is some to someone. Um, the revival keepers of oh yeah, it's the new revival's banner. Did it? So yeah, after this, the Twitter poll should go back up. Uh, there's tickets here because, of course, is the. Um, Forging bonds, so we'll get those first. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to try to at least go for one Bride of Fjorm or not, just because I want to get more merges of my Bride of Fjorm. Uh, for this one, we'll just summon. Uh, we'll go colorless, if not green. And we're only going for a free summon. So colorless or green. Green it is. We'll see if we get uh, this bridal Nyla wants to come home like all the other Nylas that I have gotten. Nope, wrong beast unit. You're not even on this banner, Raisin. Your brother is, not you. Uh, yeah, and that should be it, right? So yeah, um, I might summon a couple of um, for this one just to try to get one Bride of Fjorm. Although my luck on this specific banner has been super terrible since the beginning of the game. But I would still like to get more Fjorm copies since I finally finished uh, Legendary Fjorm. And Ascended Fjorm is now plus 8. We just need to work on Bride of Fjorm and New Year's Fjorm. And like I said, for this one, we'll get the tickets. We'll get the uh, tickets first. We should be able to summon by tomorrow or later today when we play. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.